close your eyes and, as the Buddha said, subdue greed and distress with reference to the world. In other words, for the time being, the world doesn't have to exist in your mind. It's just you and your breath. And you're trying to get along well with the breath. The sounds outside, just let them go. As John Chai used to say, it's not that the sounds disturb us, we disturb the sounds. We comment on them, we try to prevent them. And that gets us more and more entangled. So just let them go. You've got more important business. Getting the mind to settle down in the present moment so it can see things clearly. And that's a skill that has to take top priority. Because your mind is shaping your world, shaping your life. And you want to make sure it's doing a good job. Same way that you want to have quality control in a factory. You've got all kinds of workers in there. Some are there wanting to do a job, good job. Others just are there because they have to be there. Others are actually trying to sabotage the work of the factory. So you need somebody to you can rely on in terms of quality control. And quality control has to be there all the time. After all, just one batch of whatever it is that's coming out, if it's, if it's bad, it can ruin the reputation of all the other batches. So each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out, you want to be on top of what the mind is about to do. And the breath is a good place to watch that from, because you're right here in the present moment. And you can adjust the breath so that it's comfortable. I was reading this morning about people who have weird experiences in their meditation. And unfortunately, they, the people who have been studying these weird experiences say, well, give these people drugs or whatever, and then that'll take care of it. But if the weird experience comes from how you're relating to your breath, how you're relating to the present moment, you've got to change the way you relate to the present moment. You can't expect a drug to come in and do the work for you. So you want to make sure that you're on good terms with the breath, on good terms with your body on good terms with the mind. This is one of the reasons why when the Buddha taught meditation, he didn't just start right in with meditation. He started with right view, right resolve, right action, right speech, right livelihood, all the way down the line. There are eight factors to the path, not just one. And so once you get the mind in the present moment, try to bring some right view to what's going on in the present moment. Sometimes mistakes you made in the past will come up, but you have to learn how to remember that Okay, mistakes are things you can learn from. You can't go back and undo them, but you can learn from them, and you can resolve not to repeat them. That's right view and with regard to a lot of things that come up and bother people in their meditation. So get the mind here and bring some right view to what you're doing. And you find that your quality and control gets better. It's more continuous, it has higher standards. And the life you shape actually does become a better life. The world around you becomes a better world. But it all has to start right here.